Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and basically in this video I'll show you guys how to use the file manager that is in Haku OS. So I'm going to show you guys right now how to use the file manager. Okay, to start using it, what guys will notice is Feebox hard disk. Now this is the drive name obviously, this is a home directory but we'll go more into that later. So I'm going to click on to um, Feebox hard disk and as you guys can see this is something you're going to see. Um, I changed to uh, icon size, so if you want to change your icon size, go to window, and then from here go to icon view and go for the largest one, which is 128 times by 128. But even if they were small, it was still going to be the same sort of thing. Anyway, guys, so um, I'm going to describe to you what these directories does. So the home directory is basically where all of your personal files would go, such as um, your college work or um, homework for school or it could be even for a job so if you do like programming as a job then you may use a home directory to save all of the documents to now we may notice that there's a system directory and the system directory is basically to store all of the built-in um, built-in softwares that comes into the um, operating system and it comes with some documentations and it comes with all of the essentials um, files that the system needs to, to be able to operate, such as the kernel. The kernel is used to um, allow the hardware and the software to be able to work together. Um, but this is an example of what would be in the system directory, some um, built-in softwares and some crucial software that will guys really need, such as the kernel. And as you guys may also notice that there's trash, as you guys already possibly know about this. This is where all of your um, files that you want to delete will go to. Okay, now I'm going to go to the home directory by double clicking onto it. So now I'm in the home directory. Now I may notice that there's a few files and they are config, desktop and mail. So obviously we can go to desktop and this will be, this is the desktop by the way. So yeah, this is where we could actually store some files onto this desktop and stuff like that because that itself is is um, known as a directory. Um, but in our case, what we're going to be doing is going to be um, navigating around for software and we're also going to be creating new file folders and we're going to be creating a new text document. Okay, let's get started. So basically, um, if you want to create a new folder, just do a left click. And now we see a, a, a drop down like this. Now there should be new. And from new, we should be able to create a new folder by clicking on to new folder. Or alternatively, we could do alt n. Now click on to new folder and name it as whatever we want to name it, such as I'm going to name it SML because why the hell not? And now I'll call it SML. So once you have created it, what you guys can do is to double click on to SML. And that should basically allow you. To create a new folder so well done on that so basically once you have created a new folder well guys may be wondering how do i create a new file um so to basically create a new file what you guys can do is do a left click and now we'll see new we can also click on to text file and that should basically create a text file so now we can call it whatever you want to call it such as um s m l movie is the best and now we have created a new text document. To open it, just double click onto it, like this. So once I have double click onto it, now we'll be able to type anything we basically want to write into the text document. So it can be some gibberish, like this. And then if you want to save it, just go to File, and now Save. And now we can close out of it, and we can reopen it. As you guys can see, it has saved our document. So once I have done that, um, basically we are done but now I'm going to show you guys alternative ways of how to create a new folder and alternative way on creating a new file so alternatively if you don't want to do this sort of pop down what we guys can also do is go to file and now we guys will see new and now we can create a new folder that way so we can go to file and create a new folder so now we can call that one SM, SM2 so now we can create it like that and now we can double click onto it and now um, it's going to be the same process. It's also in, um, creating a new, file, um, a new folder. Just click on to file. Now create into, go into new. And now we should be able to create a new text file. And now we can call it basically whatever you want to call it, such as um, Google. So once I've named it Google, 
Now I'll be able to type down some random text that I want to write down into this document. Like this. So once you have done some changes to that document, now you guys can click on the file and now click on to save. And now we can close out of it. As you guys can see, we are opened up Google, um, the Google um, for document, as you guys can see. Now this is how you guys will be able to navigate around the um, file manager, how to create a new file, such as text documents, and how to open up each of a directory. Now I'm going to show you guys basically how to delete some files. So to delete a file, what you guys will need to do is go to SML2, go to SML, and from here what you guys should be able to do is now click onto this 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 document and I'll go to file and now what you guys can do is move to um, move to trash so we'll have moved it to trash we can also move folders to trash by so going to SM2 go to file and now we can also move to trash by clicking on the trash icon and what you guys could also do alternatively is to double to do a left click and now we should be able to move it to trash or which you guys should be able to click onto the delete key hold on click onto the delete key and that should basically move to the trash now to basically empty for trash just go to the trash icon double click onto it and now we should be able to see a window like this now if we go to file click onto empty trash once I've clicked onto empty trash, now all of these all of these files are now gone, as you guys can see. And um, and then that's the system directory where um all of the boot files, all of the kernel and blah blah blah, like we have said earlier, goes to. And we can also view the documentations here if we need any help with using this operating system. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope that you guys find this video very useful. If you guys truly wanted to, another part of cool phone thing about it is that we can even click onto these icons over here. So if you want to go straight to the home directory, just click onto it. I mean, home directory. If you want to go straight to the trash directory, just double click onto it, and now we're in the trash directory. And you can obviously click onto this feather icon, and now there should be um, some fold, some ways to access these folders and documents. So we can click onto recent documents, and we should be able to click onto the recent document that we guys recently had open such as hello work so once you click onto it then it will just open up hello work for example and we can cl also click onto the recent folders and the guys should be able to open up the folders that we guys recently had opened and we can also access all of the recent applications anyway guys I just want to say thanks so much for watching, um, please like and subscribe and I hope that you guys found this video very useful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.